Hey card fighters, Chris here from Vanguard Central bringing you a Thing Saver Royal Paladin deck profile. So starting off we're going to run the 4 Thing Saver Dragon. Non Legion skill is when it attacks a Vanguard it gets plus 2000. Which is great because then on boosted you're attacking for 22,000 instead of a 20 which is out a little bit extra shield from your opponent. The Legion skill is after um, it attacks you can counter blast 2, soul blast 3. Discard two ca cards from your hand, and then you search your deck for another copy of Thing Saver and write it as stand on your vanguard, and then you legion with the blaster blade in your soul that was from your previous one. So it allows you to make lots of attacks in one turn. You can actually do three restands, like three vanguard attacks in one turn, which really just destroys your opponent's hand. Next is the Backup grade threes is we're gonna run two Alfred. His non-legion skill is counterblast two seekers, and then search your deck for a seeker card and call it to rear guard, which helps you get out you know your utility units, whatever you need. And then Legion skill is while he's in Legion, he gets plus one thousand for every other seeker you have, which includes the mate. So you can get a total of plus six thousand. And then if you have five or more other rear guards, he's going to get an extra crit, really put that pressure on the opponent. And then the other support grade three we have is Sacred Wingle. When he legions, you get to search your deck for a grade two or greater Seeker and call it to the rear guard. Now both Seeker and Wingle are ideally going to be ridden first so that you can build up some soul for Thing Saver and help you build a little bit of advantage at the same time. Moving into the grade twos, we are going to run four Blaster Blade Seeker. Super important to run four because he's actually the mate for all of our vanguards, all of our grade three vanguards, sorry. And he has a skill when he's called to rear guard, you can counter blast one and choose one of your opponent's grade two or greater rear guards and retire that. Helps get rid of a front row attackers, any pesky grade threes that your opponent might have and let off a little pressure from you. Next is four 12k attackers. He's important, you know, just to hit good columns. You can make 19k columns early and, you know, attack unboosted, which is really good. And then last is going to be three crossbow seeker gildas. His skill is when your Vanguard Legions, you can counter blast one, search your deck for a Seeker card, and then call it to rear guard. So you can use him when you Legion, um, when Thing Saver restands, it actually counts as a Legion, so you can use his effect then to get out an extra attacker or a booster you might be missing to add a little bit of extra pressure and gain some advantage at the same time. Lastly, going into grade ones, we are going to run four perfect guards. Pretty standard. We're going to run three Lake Maiden Leons. Her skill is when you rest her, you can drop a card and draw a card, which is great for setting up early Legion, you know, without guarding from too many cards, and, and you can drop those extra thing savers to Legion them back into your deck for a restand, which is just a great card overall. Next we're gonna run two um, Flail Seekers is Buzzard. So he is when he's called to the rear guard while your Vanguard is in Legion. He gets plus 4,000 so it becomes 11k which is really great because um, it allows you to make 21k or even greater columns when you call him during your Legion turn and you can even call him out with Gildas you know, if you need an extra 11k attacker during your restanding turn, put a little pressure on your opponent. We also run two 10k attackers for a little bit of the same reason as Is Buzzard. You can call them out during your Legion turn for a little extra attacks, and he's good for that early offense. You know, take a little shield out of them early so they don't have as much to guard your Thing Savior restands. And then the last great ones are going to be two Gringle Seeker. His effect is really is really good. It's when you hit, um, when it boosts 
um, a Blaster Blade Seeker. So this actually counts if your Vanguard is in Legion with Blaster Blade Seeker and you hit, then you're going to be able to, to put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck, draw a card and unflip damage. And the unflip damage is super important for getting those multiple Thing Saver resands, using Gildas a lot. So he really helps out the deck with his unflipping abilities. Lastly is the trigger lineup. Eight crits, four draws, specifically Margols, because he has the ability to move into the soul and give a unit plus 3,000, which will help boost some rearguard columns up to really good numbers and helps you build a little extra soul for that thing saver turn just in case you might have two soul. Just play a Margol, put him in the soul, get that three soul for the restand. And then obviously four heals. And then our starter, Advanced Party Seeker File. His skill is when you Legion, you can put him into the soul, and then you get to search your deck for a Blaster Blade Seeker and call it. This is great for kind of converting him into a grade two, a little bit of extra shield if you use it as an intercept. There's a lot of options for this guy, so he's a great starter.